Hello, this is Sharon from SC Statistical Programming. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access soft software freely uh, to learn SAS. So we can open a Google page and then tap in SAS on demand for academics. And then we can click on this first link. And the SAS on demand for academic is a cloud-based SaaS studio, and it's free uh, for learning SaaS and for educators. And originally, all my SaaS courses, I use SaaS University Edition, and I have a license for that. So SaaS University Edition is an installed SaaS studio. So the only difference between the SaaS University and the SaaS On Demand for Academic is um, this one is cloud-based, that means you don't need to install any software in your device. And the SAS University Edition is the installed SAS Studio, so it requires installation uh, to your device. And since both of them are SAS Studio, so they have same interface and same functionality. And then let's click on Access Now. Um, so if you're a first-time user, we can click on don't have a SaaS profile. So um, in order to access SaaS on demand for academic, uh, we'll have to create a SaaS profile. I already have one, um, but in order to show you the whole procedure, I will use my another email account to create another SaaS profile. So let's click on don't have a SaaS profile. Okay, here, first-time visitor, uh, you will need to create a SAS profile account. After you create your profile and receive an email uh, validation, uh, return to this page to register for SAS On Demand for Academics. So let's click on Create Profile. All right. So prefer language uh, English. And first name, uh, I'll type in Sharon. And uh, Email, I will use another one, which is typical uh, programming at gmail.com. And then, um, so here you will tap in your email account. And then the country would be uh, United States. And the state, for me, it's California. And Affiliation with SaaS, we'll just select um, customer or user. And expertise level, it doesn't really matter. So I just uh, choose advanced. You can choose other options. And organization and university, I'll tap in not available. And then uh, just click on I agree to the terms of use and conditions and then click on create profile. Okay, thank you for creating SAS Pro. You're almost done. Verification will be sent to the address you provided. And then um, you need to verify your email address and activate your profile. Click the link in the email. You will then be prompt to set the password, okay? So, uh, and then let me go check my email and see if I already received the uh, verification email. So this is the uh, um, activation SAS profile email. So let's click on that. Um, thank you. And then and verify your email address and activate your profile by clicking on the following link. So we can just uh, click on activate your SAS profile. And then it will ask for the password. Um, and then confirm. Set password. SAS profile, your profile is now active. You can now sign in using your new SAS profile 
credentials. Just click on continue. Yeah, seems like it didn't bring us directly to the SaaS on demand login page. So we can open the, another Google page and then um, we can paste the link uh, for login SaaS on demand. You can just click that. And if you don't have that link ready, you can just go um, Google and then again search for SaaS on demand for academic. And click click this one and click on access now and it will bring you to this page uh, as well but this is a SAS on demand for academic sign in uh, page so I'm gonna tap in my uh, email and then I'm gonna tap in my password um, click accept terms of the lessons and then send in it will ask you which region you're in United States and then submit you will not be able to change this selection later. Are you sure? Yes. So after logging your SAS profile, then it has this SAS on demand for academic registration scheduled. Your sign up direct request has been submitted and being processed, uh, assigned to United States too. And you, re you will receive an email with further instruction once this process completes okay so it, it will take five to ten minutes or longer and uh, then we're going to wait for that email so now we cannot directly access SAS on demand we just do the exit okay let me check my email and see if i already received that one or not okay so we can see i already received this um SAS on demand for academic. You are ready to start using SAS on demand for academics. Let's click on that. And welcome to SAS on demand for academic. Your user ID is this one. And you can use either this user ID or your email address along with your SAS profile password to sign in SAS on demand for academic. Yeah, I will use my email address because I cannot remember this user ID. After signing, you can access SAS Studio software, register course, and share course information with students, and review reference and support information. Okay, great. So that means uh, now we are ready to start using SAS On Demand for academic. Then let's go back to the SAS On Demand uh, sign in page. Uh, let's sign in. I'm going to sign in with my email. And tap in the password. Accept the terms. Every time we need to check this box. Now, uh, here's SAS Studio. So we can click on this. Um, this is SAS On Demand for Academic. It's a web-based SAS Studio. Yeah, sometimes they take a little bit of time to get into the uh, SAS Studio. So now we're officially uh, in this SAS Studio, which is SAS On Demand for Academic. And we have servers, files, and folders here. And here uh, is files home. So this is your home drive in SAS Studio, uh, particularly to your SAS profile account, okay? So let's click on this file home and right click to it and then choose the property. So under the folder property, there is a uh, 
one information which is very, very important uh, is under location. So this location is the location of your home folder in SAS Studio. And this is particularly linked to your specific SAS profile. So that's why everybody's um, home folder location or home folder path is different. For me, this is my uh, home folder location or home, home folder path. And in next tutorial, we're going to upload um, the course material, including SAS programs and the data file we're going to use for a certain lecture to this files home folder so we can use them in SAS Studio. Okay.